I think it's actually a moral imperative to back the police and to support them in their mission, but to also hear the voices that are saying, we still have not gotten to justice for all. Racism is still out there, and so I hear those voices too. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost walking the tightrope, trying to navigate meaningful police reform in a state divided. Black Lives Matter! With calls for police reform and racial justice in the background, he acknowledges that failing to respond appropriately to this moment could have dangerous, even deadly consequences. Please, you stop and he's breathing right there, bro. It's a tiny percentage that produces these awful videos. That tiny number of bad cops make every good cop less safe on the job, less trusted, less able to do their job, more likely to get hurt or even killed. A nine-step police reform plan proposed by Yost and Governor Mike DeWine is an attempt to weed out officers who shouldn't have a badge and gun. Yost says most crucial are independent use of force investigations for all officer-involved shootings and in-custody deaths. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Advanced training. CCA reviewed approximately 174 complaints and a law enforcement oversight and accountability board that could suspend or revoke officer certificates. Having that licensure in place is going to build trust in the community. It's going to make every officer safer. Outside of firearm training, the state legally can't mandate training it doesn't pay for. Ward County Sheriff's Office. The first thing we need to do is find funding base for it. Short term, the state is reimbursing police agencies for up to six hours of training on use of force, implicit bias, and de-escalation for officers who haven't received those this year. That doesn't go far enough, does it? It doesn't. We need a systemic, regular, predictable uh, training. An ambitious part of Yost and DeWine's plan, outfitting every officer in the state with a body camera by helping local departments cover the costs. It's got something behind his back. The truth is your friend, and video is evidence of the truth. I shared my exclusive research with the Attorney General, showing that three out of five departments in Hamilton County don't have body cameras. I think the fact that something's hard doesn't mean you don't try to do it. It's a similar game plan getting lawmakers to buy in on reform. Well, look, some will and some won't. That's the nature of legislation. Describing their progress as slow but steady. A lot of paddling beneath the water, and uh, we're about to see some of the results of that work, I think. The Attorney General says the regional training academies could come to fruition in about a year and a half. Now, House Bill 703 has already been introduced. The Attorney General is in the process of drafting language, hoping to amend that bill that would create an oversight board, independent investigations for all officer-involved critical incidents, and a peace officer and trooper discipline database. Now, the bill would need to, of course, then pass the General Assembly. Now, Jatira, you mentioned some of these reform efforts are already rolling out. And you were talking about how three out of five departments in Hamilton County, they don't have body cameras. But what about having a body camera for the Ohio State Highway Patrol, Jatera? That's in the work, Mike, and that's what we're focusing on tonight at 11. As of today, no state troopers have body cameras. Yost and DeWine want all troopers to have them. So we'll have an exclusive look at the systems they're now testing later tonight. All right.